Hi, Ray Mai. Hi, Ray Mai, and welcome everybody. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about expanding the brackets when there are letters in the front. So, expanding the brackets, as you know, involves multiplying everything inside the brackets times what's before the brackets. We've talked about some of the advantages of using these arrows to remind ourselves what to multiply by. And if we use those, we will see p times x, which is px, plus p times y, or py. Putting a minus sign in the brackets only requires us to pay attention to that. So x times 3x, and then x times the minus 4y that's written out here. x times 3x, which is 3x squared, minus, that's why there's a minus there, x times 4y, which is 4xy. Well, could I say, if x times 4y, could I say x4y? No. no. Why not, Molly? Because that's spelling alphabetical. That's right, so I wouldn't say 4yx. And that final answer? 3x squared minus 4xy. Next one, letter C. We are still expanding brackets, but we've got letters in front. So if you want to use the arrows, use them. 3x times x, and then 3x times a positive 2. So 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 2 is 6x. Can I add 3x squared plus 6x. Are they like terms, 3x squared and 6x? Um, what do you mean? They've both got an x in there. What's the problem, Anton? It's because 3 is a squared. Exactly. One of them is squared, the other is not. So those are not like terms. Yes, yes? Yes. 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 Very nice. I like the enthusiasm. All right, so now letter D. Everything inside the brackets that's why you're my favorite class. You know what's going on. You've got 4x times 2x, and then 4x times negative 5. And if you need to write it out like that, please do. It's okay to help yourself. So, first, 4x times 2x. Remember, so take the number separately. 4 times 2, that's where the 8 came from. x times x, x squared. So 4x times 2x is 8x squared. Now we've got 4x times negative 5. That's why that's a minus. Positive times a negative is a negative. Positive times a negative is negative. 4 times 5 gives us the 20. And since the x has nothing to multiply by, that is an x. Kapai? Yeah. All right, let's try one together now. Number 1a, expand then the brackets. We have got x times the quantity y plus z. The first thing, Sam, I'm going to multiply the x by is what? The y. And what is x times y, Sam? x, y. Can I say y, x? No. Why not? You got to go in alphabetical order. You go in alphabetical order. Y, x just sounds stupid. Next, what am I going to multiply the x by, Jazz? Can I say ZX? No. Why not? It's got to be in alphabetical order. Now, when I add, I've got XY plus XZ. That is actually XZ. <laughs> Lily Vanilli, can I add XY plus XZ? Or are they not like terms? How do you know? They've both got an X. That's right. One of them is XY other is x, z. Please try b and c with your groups now. Please try b and c with your group.